This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is Microsoft's Zune HD, the newest Zune. This has a capacitive touchscreen. You see, if you wake it up, you just flick the screensaver up to access the Zune menu, which is similar to what you've seen on previous Zunes, if you've ever looked at Zune, that is. So you've got music, videos, pictures, radio, which includes HD radio, the marketplace. You can actually download applications and stream music directly from the Zune marketplace. You don't need to use your desktop computer to do that the social, and the web browser, applications, which is new for the Zune, and then settings. Here's something that's new. You flick this way, and you see things that you've recently added, history of things you've recently accessed, which includes websites, photos, videos, and music, and you can tap and hold to pin anything that you want here. So if you've got a favorite album or a favorite video, favorite picture, whatever it is, there it is. Let's take a real quick look at pictures. This functionality is similar to what you've seen on Zooms before, but we just want to show you the accelerometer and how quick it is to rotate. Likewise, you can pinch zoom just like the iPhone. It's very fast, very fluid, and really easy to control. This is probably the best pinch zoom we've ever seen. It certainly helps that this has NVIDIA's Tegra processor. This is a very fast CPU. To go Back to the home menu at any time, just hit the button down here. It's a pretty simple design. There's only this button and this button right here, which brings up the volume controls and playback controls. If you actually have anything playing, as you can see, you can move forward and back a track or a radio station and raise and lower the volume. Let's take a look at the apps real quick. That's new for the Zune. There aren't many apps right now. There's two applications, a calculator and MSN Weather and a couple of games. So we'll take a look at weather. We've got Wi-Fi set up here. This does have Wi-Fi. So here's weather, MSN weather, which is not so different from MSN weather widgets on uh, Windows desktops and on certain versions of Windows Mobile and it's sort of like HTC's as well. So you can have several cities worth of weather. So here's a game called Goose Splat. Let's take a look at it for a minute. So you can see it's a pretty simple game. The colors are nice and it's it's fun. Really cool games like Project Gotham Racing are supposed to be coming, but we don't know when. Right now, all applications and games are free. Games have a v advertisement that leads in as a uh, trailer of sorts. So look at the web browser. So this is the web browser on the Zoom. This is based on IE Mobile. It's either a version of IE Mobile for 6.5 or 7. Microsoft's not being very specific about this. It is based on IE Mobile, IE 6 engine for the desktop. And it works pretty well. We haven't been too excited by IE on Windows Mobile for quite some time. But as you can see here, really easy to control and really fast. The capacitive screen makes all the difference. It's a 3.3 inch capacitive display, so it's just a little bit smaller than the iPhone and the iPod Touches, which are 3.5. Controls here are very minimal. You can add to favorites. You can search. Not surprisingly, it's using Bing for search. You can go back, and there are some basic controls under settings. We'd like to see more features, and we do hope that Microsoft adds them. We also would like to see slightly faster page load times, particularly for sites that use JavaScript. The pages take a while to load. It seems slower than it is, though, because it waits until it's downloaded most of the page before it renders on screen, whereas with the iPhone, it starts rendering immediately and throwing bits on the screen, so you feel like more is happening. So there, in fact, is our review of the Zune HD on mobiletechreview.com. Let's compare this in size to the iPhone for a minute. You can see it's quite a bit smaller than the iPhone. Now, obviously, the iPhone's thicker than the iPod Touch, but you get an idea that the Zune is about the same th thickness as the iPod Touch. It's just a teeny bit thicker at its thickest point. So it's a pretty teeny device that's very powerful. We'll take it one, take a look at one last feature, which is video playback. You can rent movies, and you can, of course, put your own videos on here, YouTube, 
converted videos, MPEG-4 video, WMV formats are supported, and you can buy TV shows. So we'll just take a quick look. Most of my videos on here, in fact, from YouTube, so they may not be the highest quality, but... First we'll take a look at the Zoom demo video, because it's large and high resolution. The organic LED display is fantastic. It's really bright and vibrant, and I hope we can capture that on camera. You really have to see it in person to believe it. There is no speaker, so you're not going to hear whatever audio track is associated with your video unless you plug in some headphones, some speakers, or stream it to your receiver. Want to go back? It's as simple as just hitting the back button. It's easy to control the zoom. I'll we'll just take a look at a YouTube video. It's a widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio display. It's kind of a dark scene, it's a little hard to see. There we go. So this guy can handle HD video playback, though the resolution is 480 by 272, so you won't see HD on the screen. That's useful if you want to stream it to your HD TV using the optional HD dock. So that's the Zune HD from Microsoft. This is the 16 gig version, so it's all black. The 32 gig version is platinum, and you can custom order them in colors of your choice with engraving and other graphics. Visit mobiletechreview.com to read our full review.